Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Lost on the Charger franchise. We're here in week four. I just made a trade for, uh, not for, well, for a fourth round pick. It was only just trading Kiki Kuti for fourth round pick. We did sign him in the free agency, and I thought he was going to play more, but a wide receiver position is kind of a lot right now, unfortunately. We have Dorian Dale, Joe Reed. Tony Burton, Preston Williams, and, uh, like, backups. So, it was, like, it's very tough. It was very tough to get him playing time. I think we spent about either five or seven mil on him for two years. So, it was, like, that contract wasn't working out. Plus, we got to re-sign players. So, it was just in our best interest to just get him off the team and create more space. Especially on the all sense side of the ball, he's not really going to get playing time, especially for that kind of money. And I could use it to re-sign other players. I was thinking about trading or, like, getting rid of someone on defense, but I just couldn't think about who it would be. We can't really afford to get, get rid of a corner without getting another corner, so it was just no point in that. And everywhere else, I really couldn't see myself trading someone. I thought about, um... Keenan Savage, but I'm like, I like you. I like our backups on the D-line. Keenan Savage, Matt Bryan, um, what's this guy name? Rashad Haynes. Yeah, I, I like our uh, backups right there as on edge rushers. Even um Trayvon Tapp. Like, these guys are starting right outside linebacks, and you think, oh, that's a right side linebacker. But really, they're starting on the D-line. So when there's like certain blitz plays and certain packages on the floor where we need more linebackers, especially blitzing linebackers, that's when they come out on the floor. And I did say I was going to spend Coach XP this episode, but wait. If you are new here, click the subscribe button and help grow the channel. We are currently at 51 subs that I record this. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to, I was, was going to say I rolled to 100, but let's, let's cut down. Roll to 75 subs. Let's, let's get to 75, then we go to 100. But yeah, um, it was saying 70, no, it was saying before, like, it was almost like 90% of people that watch my videos weren't subscribed, and now it's down to like 75, so that's a good, that's a cool 15% cut down, and the more you watch, the more we grow. The likes, the comments, all that helps, appreciate it. Anyways. We got to spend coach XP. Uh, thing we do got to spend, I don't think training, like the player progression, we got kind of everything we need. We could use running back. I think that's all I'll do. Probably O line, running back. And how much we got left? We still got 13,000 left. And we don't really need anything else. You don't need kicker or punter because those shits don't really matter to me at least. If we do have anything left, we'll spend it on tight end, but we need player retention. We have a cornerback that's currently about to... Oh, we do have um player retention for a DBs. Oh, so we actually don't need that. So we can kind of lowball him in a sense, right? Yeah. So we'll go O-line... Resign influence, and then we'll put tight end training boost. There's not much else. I guess we just could use kicker and thing. I don't know. I feel like I just get these rest, rest of these. No, nah, I'm just going to do it. Put the kicker. Put that. So we just... um The reason I wanted the DB one is because we got to resign Emmanuel Mosley. And I'm not sure I want to pay him 20 over 3. I might do like 10 to 15 over 2. So we'll see if he accepts that or if he doesn't. We're going to have multiple chances to resign him though. So we're going to try that. I just say I want to do two years. And we could up the bonus a little bit. We can put it up to like to three. All right? That's not bad. 13.5 over 2. He doesn't like nothing about it. Alright. 
fuck. Because I'm re-signing Cesar Ruiz, Eli Apple, no. Alex Kappa, maybe. Probably not, honestly. And everybody else can kind of walk. Except Koi Bukorkas. Everybody else can kind of walk. Honestly. So maybe I should have spent that money. Uh, I don't know. I got to resign Caesar Ruiz. Anyways, into upgrades. Let's see Adley. Who is playing well. What do you kind of need for us? Tackling. And man. I guess I'm going to go man. Now I'm going to go run support. See what run support gives us. Plus two play rec, a zone. Nothing I even wanted. I mean, tackling went up, so that's kind of good. Cordell Ellis, who we kind of see sometimes. We're going to go field general. Not field general. Pass coverage. That just lied right in my face. Pursuit awareness. One man. Pursuit. Not bad. Brooks Rudolph is going to go to your scheme. Doesn't boost your overall at all. But you get plus two to run block finesse. Let's see what's actually up. You need your pass block to go up. Holy shit, you're horrible at pass blocking. Justin Herbert, what do we need? I don't really don't know. Do we just stay in the scheme fit? We get that thrown to run to 90. I kind of want to do that. Let's try. We get, you'd say 88. And uh, none of those things went. Throwing the pressure up to break sack up three. Throwing the pressure and break sack. Break sack is on now on 81. Throw under pressure. Where is that stat? Did I just miss it? Nope. Under pressure is 90. So you really should not be missing under pressure throws. You don't miss a lot, but you do miss some. I mean, we're going to change his ability to homer now. Now that you are playing at home. He was on the road for two weeks. I feel like our team is playing well. I just need to find a way to get Hunter Henry a little bit more involved, I think. I might actually change his abilities right here. Because I do need to get him like way more involved. He's just not involved enough. Let's see what I could change on you. Well, those are route runners. So like double means a good ability. But it really only feels like it only works for one thing. But there's nothing else I really could put on you. Grab and smash. I guess I'll give you grab and smash. Um, and I'll just leave Bulldozer and whatchamacallit. Dorian, I like double me on you, but double me just goes away too quickly. I, I like I like the ability. I love the ability. But it goes away so fucking quickly. It says consecutive pass is not targeted, but I swear if we target him once he has, doesn't catch it and then it just goes away, which is fucking horrible. I don't like that ability, like how it does that. But anyways, we'll, we'll figure a way to make it work. Let's get into this game against the, I'm going to say Denver Broncos, against the Cincinnati Bengals, who are, they have no X-Factors. They have no X-Factors. They have a bunch of superstars. Joe Mixon, Brandon Sheriff, or Sheriff, as a Sheriff. <laughs> Joe Burrow, as always, and Mackenzie Alexander. Should be a good one. Justin Herbert could get a thousand yards in the season already with this game right here. He's already at s over 700. I think he's at like 730 something or 740 something. So with a 300 yard performance, or even like a two, technically a two what, a 260, he could get over a thousand yards. This is one of those good matchups. You have a, a good quarterback. Well, it's really a quarterback matchup I'm looking at. I mean, the running back isn't horrible. Joe Mixon's not a bad running back. Um, I'm sure they have some good uh, receivers. Their defense, probably not that horrible. It was great in the past. We almost had that fabulous comeback uh, probably two years ago. It might have actually been last year we almost had that fabulous comeback against them. And Kareem Hunt this season has had 100 yards in each of his games so far. Can he keep that streak alive? Like, well over 100, too. It's not just like he got, like, oh, 102, 103. He's had, like, above 120 in each game. 
Or at least one tweet. Let me say it. Yeah, let me say it bubble even tweet. He's almost cracked 150 twice. And the fact that he's not getting the dev up for that, come on, man. Not dev up, but uh, scenario. That's crazy. Let's see what kind of season Joe Burrow's having. One of us is a good one, one of us is a bad one. And it's actually a good one. Actually, kind of comparable to our game. Over 800 yards, 8 touchdowns, 1 receptions. We're close to something like that, I bet. We'll have to see when we come out here. Come here. Tackle for loss. Oh, sack, technically. Very good play design. It was definitely prepared for that uh, pass if they did pass. We was prepared for a run if they did run. See, we could just cover 11 yards. I'll let them get anything right there. And they go short, and they go out of bounds. So, no positive gain on that one, technically. Justin Herbert, the early MVP candidate, in my opinion. Look at them stats. Yeah, very comparable. 777, 774 yards, 7 touchdowns, 1 receptions. Playing really good. And all that's been playing good is Kareem Hunt. See if they could pick up some blocks here so we can have a better game today. There we go. Falling forward for a bout of first. Yep, definitely a first. Here he has 380 yards on the year. Seven touchdowns. Going to run a screen to this. Lost well, inches. I didn't even see it was inches. Going to run a screen to his right side. Wow. He just got intoed by a D lineman. <laughs> oh my god. What is what is going on? Oh, that's such a good block. We just got intoed by a D lineman, bro. Wow, Joe Mixon, very fast. We could not catch up to him at all. Um, all right. How do we throw that into, bro? Fuck, it's gonna be seven zip. Not a good start today. Today's game. There we go. Another good run by Kareem. Two rushes, nineteen yards already. That's going to go again. Want to run to the middle here. Looks like a very easy run. And what do you know? It kind of is. Broke that tackle. And got even more yards. Might look to pass here. Kareem Hunt breaking a lot of tackles so far. Third and two. This should be a very easy run. They're blitzing on the inside, so... We're going to run to this out. Wow, we really could not run. A pass should have been it, huh? We're actually going to kick this. Because we need points and we can't risk not getting it. It's going to put it 3 to 7. I don't even know how we didn't get that first down. I mean, obviously, you're blitzing. Yeah, pass should have been the call there. I know I'm going to be looking back on this when I'm recording. Not recording. What am I saying? I'm going to be looking back this one this when I'm editing and be like, yeah, you should have definitely pass it. It happens so many times when I'm editing. I just look back and be like, man, what was you thinking? Oh my gosh. We're going to have trouble stopping Joe Mixon today. I can already feel it. Oh my gosh. Big fumble. How does that happen? How does that fucking happen? Alright, no run, no run. 
Just prepare for this pass. They're going wide out. I, I didn't feel like I, I should have went that deep. There was so much open underneath. It's a good place to put the ball, man. But I feel like safeties have to cover that. They throw it away. All right. I feel like we blitz again. That's how you fucking get in. Let's go. Love it. All right, and now they are kicking the field goal. It's going to put it 10 to 3. Fairly easy field goal. It's all right. As long as you don't give up 7 again, I'm cool. Almost getting the first again. I'm telling you, Kareem is really showing out now. We keep coming up on second and inch. I'm hating that shit right now. There you go, Dorian. Getting about 10 yards too. Good catch. Hunter. Hunter. I was going to try to get you involved. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to try to run the screen again. Last time it was fucking horrible. Here we go. Good block. Very good block. 5 or 6, 62 yards, 1 into. Just looked ugly with the 1 into. Oh, Kareem! What a lucky animation. I got. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't even say, oh, that's Kareem just being strong. That's really just a lucky ass animation. We get. We have a one on one to the left side. We're gonna blitz everybody. This is Dorian. Dorian Tom right here. Uh, I feel like we just didn't throw it with enough space. They literally have two people in like a two-point stance. What the fuck you call that? Walking very easy, untouched. Kareem. This is his year. He doesn't get hurt. Best running back, man. I told you, one healthy, best running back. He's up there with the best. Fuck, I think I missed this kick. I did. Oh, man. All right, this game is going to be annoying. Just with that missed kick, it's going to be annoying. Oh my god, there's literally nobody there, bro. Actually worked. Are you blitzing again? We are. I think we stopped them. That ball didn't look like it got across. Fourth and inches. Let's go. Beautiful. Oh, what blocks. What beautiful blocks. Probably not going to outrun him. Actually, I might. I might. Let's go. This man is having a season. Beautiful blocks. I didn't. I threw it. I was gonna get caught. I love it. One play touchdown, and we take the lead again, putting it sixteen to f ten. It says 16 to 15. Nope, 16 to 10. Nobody high five Tom Brady again for, I want to say, a second straight week. Oh, 
Yo, where are you guys at? It's a very good spot, very good placement. But y'all need to locate the ball a little better, man. Just a little better. Good tackle. Come on, it's supposed to be a breakup at least. At the Chargers, -yard line. What's the flag? Oh, holding. All right, all right, all right. We'll take it. Ah, uh, we could have had a third and 15 or some shit like that. Our third and 11, I think it was. Should have took that. Gotta go deep. Good tackle. They're not gonna call timeout. They're actually gonna hurry up there. Now they call timeout. Oh, we should have took that fucking third and eleven, man. Running man here. Oh, good suck. I was really getting blocked. Justin Jones. And they're gonna punt. We're not really worried to score. So I kinda let it run out. I already thought they were gonna get a field goal. But they kinda get nothing. Alright, going to have up by six. Looking to extend that. A decent half. Um a little annoying at times. Giving up the picking, getting picked by a D lineman, not f not very fun. Getting, letting them score very early, not very fun. And uh, can't really think of anything else that really happened. That was not very. Fun. But the rest were like, eh, like you'll give those up, right? Are you serious? Because any time that happens to us. When his man, our linebackers never play it like that at all. I knew that all it was going to take is making me get comfortable with the game for me to dominate. Not comfortable with the game, but getting a quarterback to be as great as Justin Herbert has been for us. Because he's been the best. Without a... No. No. Try to throw away. Second and 21. Oh my god, why did I fucking rat catch it? I got the first throw. That could have ended horribly for me. Seems like a very easy run. Uh, we didn't get across, did we? I was going to go for it if it's interest. It is. So look, this is the play. This is the play. Doreen or Hunter. Easy. Just possession. Easy. Doreen or Hunter. I didn't see Hunter break off immediately and went Doreen. That's just the play. You gotta just make quick decisions. Quick, quick decisions. Um, we're gonna be smart to run on the outside. We're gonna run on the inside. Yeah, it wouldn't it wasn't even kind of smart to run at all. And Sun told me take my three, but something else is telling me, hey, go for it. I'm gonna listen. Let's see. What a catch! Joe Reed, what a fucking play by him. Waiting for that route to complete. I looked at both slants. Just had to wait for him to hit that corner. Get past that defender. Falls right in for a touchdown. I didn't want me to go for it. I wasn't ready for this. I'm probably not going to show that clip. But we didn't end up getting it. So, whatever. 22 to 10. Uh, they'll probably score right here. We're, if history tells us anything on the way we play when we're 
just get like a little bit of a lead. They're probably gonna score right here. We suck in man sometimes. Well, a lot of the time. No, we don't. A gain of 14. First down, Cincinnati. That is a tackle for a loss. No. no. Oh, it was. Thought it was just a no gainer. You have to be kidding me! I played that perfectly. That's the one time I read a screen like way perfectly. I never read screens like that. And yeah, they're not. I mean, you're kind of close to midfield. You're down by 12. Why not? How? What the fuck was that? It was like... It's just a dead eye. Hunter looks so open. Hunter looks so open. I'm gonna just hit him. How do you zoom to that, bro? That doesn't even make no sense. Because Hunter is fucking wide on that, bro. So I mean, man, these like they're just not there. I don't know where they're at. They're just not there. They're on a zone blitz. Get them, boys. Yep, just no one could get out there. Good call. Very good call. Actually got that. And close to a touchdown. Gonna have to go with our goal line defense here. And they're not bringing out any goal line defense. You know the play we run 60 base. Best blitzing and best coverage. Uh, horrible, horrible, horrible. It's alright though. I know what we signed up for. I know what we signed up for. It's going to be 17 to 22. Problem with the last drive we had is um, we didn't run the ball at all. We stuck in passing blitz. This is the problem with, with, when I become when I become when I get up. I want to look for highlights. Like I, I I get up highlight time. It's not what we should be doing. Any other time, like all right, let's just play smart. Let's just run the ball. You know, let's let's do things to get us this win. I swear, any other time? It would be nice if I throw a seven-yard bomb right now. What, like, what are you doing? There we go, Hunter. Good hit. Good hit. Well, I could have ran the screen anyways. But I felt like the dive was the proper play. 21 rushes, 169 yards. You can get 200, but probably you won't, you know? Tony. There we go. Getting a few extra yards. 197 yards on the day. And, you know, we're playing all right. We're not playing crazy good. Just all right. There you go, Kareem. Weave your way in, 182 yards, 22 rushes, two touchdowns on the game. Justin! Rushing touchdown, let's go. Was looking to throw to somebody, but everybody looked at it was really covered, and I just seen a hole right there. Scramble. Put that ball in the end. I was going to say, put that ball on the ground. We don't want to do that. I boosted right back up, 29-17. Uh, About five to play left, so it's not, they're not out of it. Oh, that was kind of my fault. I can't really blame anybody for that. They're actually going to run here. Whoops. Wow. 
We're just giving up a lot. Touchdown? They're calling that touchdown. They're not serious. They're not even going to review it. I'm not even going to review it. Okay, I guess that's a touchdown. Um... All right, <laughs> twenty-four, twenty-nine. I'm still lost. How that's a fucking touchdown? There we go. He could get over two hundred yards, definitely. Are right, we gonna run here? In my opinion, we should get this. And we definitely do. They're going to call time out. And, you know, we will see. We probably need, like, two more first downs to, like, secure the win. All right. They called their last time out right there. And uh, there's still going to be a lot of time if we don't get this. Third and... Uh, 12. Gonna run to his left side. Um, I don't think we'll get this. Gonna have to play some defense. Good break. Clock is still gonna be running though. Yeah, I didn't have to shoot clock on that thing. It wouldn't even matter. They call time. Put true clock on for this punt. Clock does not run down because this game is stupid. I'm gonna have to sit here just holding this punt, I guess. Force them to go deep. No, no, no. Cover the outsides, actually. Give them everything over the middle. Don't let them get out. Yup. They're gonna have to spike, hurry up, do something. If he actually might get out, he won't, because he's stupid. That's a sack. You need to spike it here. They don't spike. All right. <laughs> we'll take a W. And this right here lets you know slides are in a good place. Because a D lineman caught an intel. That's not strange to y'all. This team was almost scoring at will. It's like, if we didn't get a few stops early on in the game, mainly in the beginning of that first half, or really the second quarter, in that third quarter, if we didn't get those stops right there, this would be a much, like, competitive game. It was 24-29. It was still competitive nonetheless, but it would have been better. Joseph Herbert didn't really have a good game, but it was all right. You know, it, it wasn't nothing too crazy. It, this is more game man. This is the most game-managing game he ever had. Joe Burrow threw for 251 yards at one touchdown. Joseph Herbert threw for... 197 yards, one touch on one inside. It was very game managing. Only because you have a dominant running back in Kareem Hunt. 196 yards, almost had 200 yards on the game, two touchdowns, seven yards on the ground. Very good. Joe Mixon had a decent game, but they just didn't really go back to him at all. CJ, um, I don't know how to say his name. I'm not even going to try to say his name. He had 93 yards, no touchdowns. Hunter Henry had 65 yards, no touchdowns. He actually got him before. He was actually our biggest catcher today. And he had the most yards. Um, Cream Hunt was a big uh, guy in the passing game. We just didn't really have it, you know? Like I guess it was very game managing in a sense for us. A very game managing game for us. Defensively, tackles for loss. Christian Wilkins had two. Joey Bosa had two. Rashawn Gary, who we wanted to sign, but he just didn't sign with us, had two. Logan Wilson had two. Yeah, they had a lot of tackles for loss. <laughs> and Derwin James and Greedy Williams had one. Chandler Mosu had a sack. 
Breland Speaks had a sack, and Je Justin Jones and Kevin McJourney had a sack. In total, it was only DJ Reader. All right. Very good week four, I think we're in. And who do we have next week? I don't... I want to say Titans or something like that. Jets, Jets, Jets. I wonder if they still have Keenan Allen. That will be funny. Moving on, week five. And frustrated receiver Dorian Dale. Gary knows Dorian Dale. And Kareem Hunt did have player of the week. Nice to see him getting that. And they're 0-4. Jets are still bad. I want to see if they have Mike Williams. They still have Sam Donald at QB. You have to move on at some point. And they still do have Keenan Allen. I mean, not bad. Not bad. But that's tough, boys. That's tough. That's tough. So, Dorian Dale is going to be our frustrated receiver next week. We are 4-0. Jets are 0-4. Um, let's check stats. I don't think Dorian should be as frustrated as he is, but I do understand it. I do understand. You're, you're a receiver as great as he is. And you expect more. You expect more. Justin Herbert's having a good season so far. 971 yards, 8 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Cream Hunt, probably best running back in the league right now. 576 yards in the 4 games, 9 touchdowns. And, uh, yeah, looking very good. Dorian Dale, leading our team in yards, 332, 3, what am I saying? 323 yards, four touchdowns. Um, yeah, he needs to get a little bit more involved, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. We're doing a little bit bad with him on that outside, but it's like, man... I don't know. We'll have to see what we can do. we we'll have to see what we can do. Yeah, more. We're getting Hunter Henry a little bit more involved. He only has 167 yards this season, but we're trying. We are trying. We can't really check uh, MVP awards because it's way too early in the season. We're eighth in offensive yards and first in defensive yards. Best defense in the league. Let's go. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it. We, we went over all we had to go over in this video. If you are new... Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Uh, hit, hit that like on the video, and I will see you in the next video. But until the next video, peace.